Can you juggle? <laughs> yeah, I learned juggling in middle school. I don't know why, like sixth and seventh grade PE for me was juggling. It was juggling, it was dancing, it was swimming, which I hated. Oh God, did any of you have to swim in middle school? Literally fuck that shit, dude. Okay, just to, just to start it off, right? Middle school was the worst three years of pretty much everyone's life. Like I hated middle school, it was awful. Like you, everyone's going through puberty, everyone's like, it's just, and they made us swim in sixth grade. And I remember like being so uncomfortable. I would like try to get doctor's notes to get out of swimming. You start to get armpit hair and you're like, like, is it cool? Do I, sh do I like show it off or do I hide it? Like, what do I do? Is this weird? Yeah, it's weird and it sucks. And I had, I had swimming, I had PE, uh, A period, which was before period one. It was like literally 7 a.m. I'm just like half naked in front of all these people who I'm like desperately trying to like not seem lame to. God, fuck that. All we wanted to do in PE was play fucking sports. Give us a damn soccer ball and like, let us run around. We have energy, let us get our energy out. Why are you putting us in this weird cold gymnasium and having us juggling and then putting us in the pool and who wants that? Literally, who wants that? No one enjoy that. Why did juggling... Dude, why were we learning juggling? Why were we learning juggling at all? And nothing against people who juggle, but I don't think any of us wanted to do that. Whatever. Serious question. Did you go to clown school? Serious answer. No. What the hell? That's not a serious question. That's the opposite of... That's, the, that's literally the opposite of a serious question. Did you go to clown school? Did you ever bowl in gym? No, we didn't have a bowling alley. Why else was middle school miserable? Let's think, right? I was friends with someone who had girlfriends all the time. Which for me, I was like, that's so cool. How did you do that? So I, I felt like I was like, okay, that's the thing. People are doing that. Um, you're not really at the point in your life where you're like interested in school. At least I wasn't. I was like, whatever subject I was in, I was like, okay, great. Like in high school, at least there comes a point where you like start to get interested in certain things and you start to think about what you want to study in college. But in middle school, you're like, I don't know. I can't even think about what's on the whiteboard right now. This is miserable. Being fake asked out. Oh God. I'm just so glad I didn't grow up through middle school with like the internet or TikTok. I, I would have fucking hated it so much more. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the pacer test and the mile were the worst. Yeah, see like, for me, that was fine. Like, I love that. But my my pacer test and mile was like the school dances. I hated those. Cause I was like, no dude, I don't want to do that. I don't want to ask a girl out. I don't want to go to a dance. I just want to like play basketball and then like go home. Did you not have AIM in middle school? Oh, I had AIM in middle school. So you, you go home and you you talk, you talk to your friends on AIM and you're like, what are you doing? And they're like, nothing. And you're like, cool. And then you put your, uh, your away message on whatever song you have on downloaded from LimeWire. That was the internet and MySpace too, but that happened later. It wasn't like the internet internet where kids were fucking filming you and shit. No way, absolutely no way. Yes, I went to a dance in my gym clothes and I'll do it again, dude. LimeWire, dude. Whoever didn't have LimeWire in the years, 2004 to 2006 is a goddamn liar. That's what, everyone had it. Julian was 100% a highlighter kid. What's a highlighter kid? What the hell's a highlighter kid? Did I ever tell you how I convinced my parents to, to get me my first phone? Um, which I think actually was genius. So I didn't have a phone like for most of middle school. And in middle school, I ended up getting a flip phone. I had like one of those Verizon little flip phones. Um, but then when I got into high school or call high school, I could probably find pictures of me in middle school, but not right now. Anyway, I was a freshman in high school and I learned that everyone either had a sidekick or like a Blackberry and I like, or an iPhone cause they were starting to come out. 
And I was like, dude, what the hell? I still have this lame ass Verizon phone that literally can't even send like a picture. So, and my mom was gonna get me one. She was like, you don't need it. Like text me if you need me or call me. Or otherwise you, you don't need a phone. Why would you need it? And I'm just like, fuck man. My friend Andrew has this dope ass sidekick. It, it flips around and he, and um, so they wouldn't get me one. My parents would not get me one. And so sophomore year, I was 15 and I got diagnosed with celiac disease. And back in 10 years ago land, I, there was not gluten-free food ever anywhere. Like you, and information too. There wasn't gluten-free food at restaurants and there, there was little information as to like what was gluten-free, what wasn't. So I told my mom, I said, mom, I'm afraid of getting glue. And this is partially true, right? Like it's a good argument, but it's, it comes from a, a place of like actual, like it was true. It helped. I was like, mom, if I'm out with my friends and we're going to a restaurant and I don't know if something's gluten-free, how am I going to look it up on the internet if I don't have an iPhone or a Blackberry? I think it was, it was a Blackberry. Do you want me to get sick, mom? <laughs> she bought me the Blackberry. I was like, let's go dude. And it worked too. I actually did use it for that. 200 IQ. I'm not a manipulator. I was just clever. I was a Blackberry kid. Yeah. Add me on BBM. What? What about it? Were you a good or bad kid? I was a good kid, dude. I was a good kid. I was a good student. I went to class. It was only in like, <laughs> if you didn't have LimeWire, you had a healthy computer. Uh, no, I, I made, I had some friends in middle school that smoked cigarettes during lunch and stuff. And I thought that was so fucking crazy of them. I mean, in reality, those are probably some of the like more normal kids, but I was like, yeah, what the fuck? And I remember, actually, I remember I was playing travel baseball. Um, I was in like eighth grade or ninth grade. It was right around, the, it was like eighth or ninth grade. And it was right around the time when I started to take baseball seriously. So I joined a, a travel ball club with like some, like my older step bro and like a bunch of other people who were in his class, we would all play. And I was like definitely one of the younger ones on the team. And we had all just started to like be in high school. And I remember the coach lecturing us one time after practice. And he was like, he was like, you guys go home and you practice. Yeah, I have, I have uh, two step brothers and one stepsister, And then I have a, a regular sister, a regular brother. So there's six total. Anyway, so I was like, they were like, Stop it, chat, stop it with the step bro. Uh, God, why did I say step bro? Anyway, the coach was like, all right, you go home and you practice, you know, you hit off the tee, play long toss. And then he was like, if I hear anything about you guys going home and, and drinking and smoking, you're off the team or whatever. And I was like, drinking and smoking? Like what? People do that? I was like, wait, what are they drinking? Like wine? And are they smoking cigarettes? Like that's what I thought he was talking about. Literally drinking wine and smoking cigarettes. And obviously he was talking about like, you know, partying in high school, like drinking beer and getting high. And I was like, why would, why would he tell us not to drink? That's so weird. <laughs> so that's the type of kid I was. I literally didn't drink for so long. Making up for all the lost time with mamitas. Yeah, dude. Fuck it, now I'm drinking. Are we like, are we liking Twitch more than YouTube? Right? I mean, I just spend a ton of time on here. I enjoy it here. I don't know. We're posting a lot of content on YouTube. If you want like YouTube videos from me, just click the YouTube button down below. I'm putting out like three or four videos a week on another channel. Now that the more I think about growing up, the more I think about like high school and stuff, I'm so, I'm so fucking thankful for baseball because baseball was always my reason not to get into dumb shit. And even though I'm not, you know, pursuing that as a career now, like it served as, that's why I think sports are so important, dude. Cause it serves as this like source of discipline that kids can use to like make better decisions specifically for that thing. Whereas otherwise they'd be like, fuck it, why not? You know what I mean? For me, baseball was like, dude, it kept me out of so much trouble. What was the biggest scandal at your high school when you went? Fuck, I think there was one, but I'm like forgetting. Mm. Scandal. I honestly, I'd have to ask my sister, I don't know. Last year, someone took a shit on the floor, third day of school. What? 
Did you go to school with dogs? 